Hello there, Leo. Well, it's time for your April 2023 You versus Them reading. So this will be your side. This will be their side. The person who's not on your mind. The person you want to know about. The person we're tapping into. And this will be the middle. The combination of the two of you. What you're both feeling for to each other. Okay, let's start out with what's currently going on in your life. What is currently going on in your life? We have here the Four of Cups. The Chariot. And this is the Lovers. Ooh, are you aware that someone wants to offer you something here? They want to offer you a love connection. It might be coming in quick. They're either just arrived or about to. Wow, Cancer Energy here. Lovers Gemini Energy. Hmm. And we have here the Three of Wands. Maybe you've been waiting for them with the Three of Wands. Expecting this. Maybe it's someone you don't even know, but you know that you feel the love is coming from someone. But someone is um want to offer a cup here. Not sure if you're going to accept it, but let's see. Why is the Four of Cups here? Okay, could be dealing with a King of Swords. It could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Okay. Okay, someone might want to mend something or they might want to put pieces together for you. It might be a puzzle they're trying to mend and put together. Um, but they could be with the sewing machine. It could be someone's trying to mend something, trying to fix something. It doesn't have to be. Take it out, resonates with you. But a king of um, swords, very intelligent, very straight up. Okay, what about this chariot card? Why is a chariot card? This is something moving quickly here. Okay, we have the Page of Wands. If someone definitely wants to communicate, you might be getting some kind of message, whether it's a letter, email, a text, phone call. Oh, I got a little, my little pony here prancing in. They might look really good. <laughs> they might come in kind of prancing. Okay. Let's see, Page of Wands. And why do we have the... Lover's cards. Choice here. You could have a choice between a couple people. Maybe have even two. Maybe have the King of Swords and the Page of Wands coming in. Ooh, wait a minute. Here we go. We have a King of Wands. Okay. You might have several offers or, you know, I'm only feeling two though. I feel like this, these two are connected and this is different. Or that someone could see you as the King of Wands too. Take it how it resonates with you. Okay. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Leader quality here. Very... Um, charming, very, very good looking. We have an owl here. P important communication with the owl. Okay, let's see. Do the king of wands. And then we have wheel of fortune, divine time, and destined. So this is something you're destined to go through. Whether you choose this person or not, it's still something that you're, you're destined to experience here. Okay, so now let's see. What's going on with the person that's on your mind? What's happening with them right now? Let's see. Ooh, Ace of Cups. They're feeling a lot of emotion at this time. And we have the Three of Swords. Could be emotion from some kind of pain, some kind of heartache, some kind of hurt. And the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. Got some heavy hitters here. So this person could be experiencing a third party situation. It doesn't have to be. It could be just some kind of pain, some kind of heartache with the heart, some kind of loss here. Um, Wheel of Fortune, Divine Timing, Destiny. We have here the star. Hopes and wishes and dreams are coming in though. This person might be healing from up some kind of uh, recent pain. Okay, let's see. What about this Ace of Cups? Why is the Ace of Cups here? Ooh, the Ace of Swords too. Okay, we have maybe someone's coming towards this person speaking their truth, or maybe this person wants to speak their truth about something here. Because maybe there's some some kind of pain that was not was not accurate, it's not true here. Whatever this three of swords it represents. We have, this has been a burden. Whatever this pain is has been a burden on this person. They want to set the record straight. What about the wheel of fortune? Holding on to this, holding on to something happening, a destiny, something meant to be here we do have here someone's confused though they don't know what to do we have the two of swords but with this two of swords if you can see real close you um, see if i can do all the glare you could actually see the eyes through it here a little bit see so it's a very thin veil so i don't think it's going to be long that this person before this person realizes what the truth is some kind of truth is going to be revealed okay 
So now, what are your thoughts about this person that's on your mind? What are your actual thoughts? We have a Seven of Swords. Not trusting this. The Tower. You might be expecting something to happen here, some kind of change. And the Ten of Pentacles. So we have the Seven of Swords. Someone could be holding back here, keeping something from you, or that's what your thoughts are. It doesn't mean it's happening. Uh, but there could be some kind of sudden change coming. Aries and Scorpio energy here at the Tower. Ten of Pentacles. This could be about commitment. It could be about some kind of financial abundance coming in, maybe. Let's see. We have here the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, I always feel more like money for some reason. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles. There might be an opportunity um, coming here. Maybe, the, maybe your thoughts are you could work with this person. Or maybe you have worked with this person. I'm thinking this might be a good opportunity. Okay, let's see. Okay. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Ah. So are you wondering if you should make an offer to this person? Apologize to them for something? For something that maybe you did? Now, that's not going to be for everyone, of course. But I see, as you see in them, unless you're you're expecting them to come, maybe your thoughts are they should come to you with an offer. If that feels a little better, feels more accurate. But for some, I think, you know, it's vice versa. We do have a tree here. There's growth here. There's um, p potential for growth. This also could be a past life connection. So let's see, page of wands. Okay. Why is the tower here? Why is the tower here? Ooh. There might be some kind of sudden commitment. Oh, you know, for someone I'm here. Now, this is not going to be for everyone. But I'm thinking someone wants to surprise this person and tell them they want a commitment with them. And they've been holding back. They haven't been honest with them. What about the Ten of Pentacles? Waiting, waiting for the right time to make an approach. We have this, some kind of pain, some kind of heartache here. Could have been three third-party situation. Doesn't necessarily have to be. Could be any kind of pain, any kind of hurt. It could have been that you guys were together, broke up because someone interfered. Or whatever the third party is. Third party could be anything. It could be long-distance connection. It could be someone was paying more attention to their career. And they're trying to build their career. And they, this... And the result of that, this relationship suffered. Could be because someone had an addiction. Could have been someone cheated. Doesn't always mean that. I mean, people right away go to that. that someone cheated. It's not always that. Could have been family. Could have been friends that interfered. Anything. Okay. Let's go over to their side. Because you both have... You, know, you both have the Three of Swords in, in your... So there's some kind of pain you guys are trying to heal here. Let's see. What's going on with their thoughts about you? The moon. Something hidden. A lot of They might have hid their emotions or they feel you're hiding your emotion. Okay. Tower here for... The, okay. You're both expecting a surprise or something changed or something suddenly happens or something you're... Two of wands. Okay. I feel like this person, um, whoever this person is, um, they feel like they have a block up trying to read their energy. Okay, we do have the Page of Pentacles wanting to make an offer. They're maybe thinking of making an offer to you. But they're hiding, they're, they're not expressing themselves. They're two of wands. They might have a couple choices or, hmm, I feel very blocked from trying to tap into this person's energy. Okay, let's see. Why is the moon here? That's what this is. Something hidden here. The moon. Pisces energy. Let's see. Emotions. Oh, what did I do? I did it backwards. Ace of Wands. I'm tired. I don't look at these cards. I'm going to do this again. But Ace of Wands. Passion. Desire. Let's see if it comes up again. I really got... Sorry that I flip them the other way. But I don't look at the deck. And that I should really try to get more of a habit doing that. Oh, see? It came up again. It was meant to be. Look at that. Ace of Swords. Ace of Wands. 
Ace of Cups. Look at this. This person is definitely into some new beginnings here. Starting anew. Okay, we have here the moon. They might have hid their passion. Or they're feeling that like you hid your passion. Because this is how they feel about you. I feel both, though. I feel this person... I, I feel like you probably always felt like I never knew what this person was thinking. I could never read them because they're very good at blocking that because that's why I'm having a hard time here. And I think that is supposed to be what's supposed to be said in this reading to confirm, you know, it wasn't you. It's this person is very good at trying to close off their emotions, not letting people see who the real person is. Okay. So now their feelings towards you. There's passion. There's confusion definitely confusion too i'm feeling their emotions there i think it it's upsetting them that's what that they have so much emotions and feelings for you okay the tower aries scorpio energy let's see whoa i can't believe the aces are coming out cups swords wands and pentacles in the first two rows that is amazing they want it all with you they want to give you everything too i think they feel that you are a golden opportunity. You are their passion. You are their desire. Okay. This is their thoughts about you. Okay. Let's see. Two of Wands. They're mixing me up there. Every time I go one way, I feel like they're turning me around. and say, no, I have to go this way. Two of Wands. The Hermit. See, they keep to themselves. But they're, this is their... This is so weird because I'm trying to read your energy. How they feel about... How their thoughts about you... But I'm feeling pulled to their energy. It's the craziest thing. I'm, I'm over there asking a question. How, what are their thoughts about you? And it's like, of course, they're, you're everything to them. They want it all with you. But they hid this. But they also could be feeling... They're I'm supposed to be tapping into what they feel about you. And it should be like, okay, you, they feel you're hidden, hiding your energy. But no, it's going back to them. Unless they always bring things back to them. It's, it's so weird. Okay, Virgo energy keep them to themselves or keep or you keep thinking you keep your to yourself oh please take it out whichever way it goes because i feel like every time i try to tap into this person's energy they're trying to turn it around <laughs> it's like oh it's driving me crazy <laughs> this person must drive you crazy okay now let's see what are your feelings towards them let's see what are your feelings towards them Eight of Wands. Okay, you want things to be moving here. And we have the Knight of Cups. You would like this some kind of love offer or something to come in. And we have the Six of Wands. A victory. Your feelings are you'd like to have something happening with this person. And then we have the Knight of Wands. Passion, desire. Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands, your feelings are there's passion, there's desire, there's love, there's a, a strong energy. You want a victory with this person. Okay, let's see. Let's get a Knight of Cups. This, this, I tell you, this reading's really tiring me out because I feel like I'm fighting against a current or something with, with this person's mm. energy. Okay, communication coming in here. So, someone, you're going to, you're going to hear from this person, I think. Spirit is talking to this person. It's where this energy is not... What I'm trying to read is not what I'm asking. It's like I'm getting something else here. It's, it's um... I don't know. This person has a very strong will or a very strong, powerful presence. Or I also feel this person... It seems like they get people to do what they want them to do. It feels like they're used to that. This is so crazy. I don't think I ever had a reading like this before. I feel like I'm really fighting against a current here. Okay, so now let's see. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Very defensive. You might feel that this person has a wall up, which is what I feel like. They have a wall up. But there is... You both want communication. I feel that. But they're a little protective, a little... They're protecting something here. They don't want anybody. They don't let people in. They're, they're very, they keep things to themselves. They're, they like to close off their emotions here. What about this Knight of Cups? Oh, the heartache. The Three of Swords came up again. 
You feel this person causes pain. Okay, what about this? Um, the Six of Wands we have here. Again, the Knight of Wands. A lot of passion. Maybe you're feeling like you want to move away from this, but you can't. This person has like a, a very strong um, attraction that you're like you can't. It's like you know, like don't look, don't look at the light, and you can't, you can't stop but look at the light. You know, it's like one of those type of energies. You have very feel very strong pull to this person. Let's see, what we have here. Okay, we have love. There's love here. You feel a strong love. You feel a passion. Feel love. They might also feel like a. Um, Romeo Juliet, the um, energy it almost feels like, you know, Don Juan, Don Wanda, you know, type of player energy, but uncertainty because you feel this person really is very connected to you. And we have the Empress. See, they have a very con commanding, controlling um, presence. Wow, pretty. I don't know if I ever felt someone this strong like this. Okay, let's see. What are their feelings towards you? <laughs> the Empress. They see you as the Empress. They are the Emperor. You are the Empress. You are a match. Page of Cups. They want to make an offer here. And it's the Ten of Cups. They want everything with you. They see you as very important to them. They see you as everything they desire. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Look at this. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Absolutely everything. Everything. You have you have everything that they want. Okay. Let's see. Let's do a page of cups. They want to make an offer. It's weird how they are so emperor energy, but they're coming in as a page of cups. Important communication coming in. It might be coming in at night. Okay, let's see. Empress. Why is the Empress here? See, there's very fond memories going back. This might be a past life connection. It's very strong. You also might be the mother of their children, or whichever way that goes with you guys, or a mother, very motherly energy, very creative energy. They see you as very creative. Um, definitely their counterpart. And that's hard. I think this person has a lot of boxes that have to be checked, and you, you got them all. Let's see, what about this Page of Cups? King of Wands, yeah. They feel a lot of passion and desire for you. Very strong. Uh, Every Leo Sagittarius, male or female, does not matter. We have the little rabbit head. This person's quick thinking when they're head here. That's what I get about the rabbit head. Let's see, King of Wands. Okay, and the Ten of Cups. Why do we have the Ten of Cups here? The Emperor, yeah. Empress, Emperor. Had the emperor before over here. So, yeah, there's a very strong power couple here. A very strong connection. This person is... Um, you have everything they want. You are, They put you on a pedestal. And that is very unusual for this person. They don't do that. A queen of Wands, King of Wands. A very strong attraction. Very mutual strong attraction. Very deep desires. Um, commitment here. Also, I think you guys could be a power couple. And probably make good money together. Because you're both very creative, very in control, you know. We're not talking about small things here. We're talking about big things. Okay, now let's see. What action might you take towards them? Now, again, a lot of this energy I'm feeling might be in reverse for some of you. So just take the parts that are yours. And, you know, if there's opposite on some of it, it might not be totally like all your side. All It might be a little mixed up because it feels like I'm, I'm getting a... They're showing me a swirl, like a combining stuff. Okay, let's see. What action might you take towards them? This is the Five of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles. And the Three of Pentacles. Isn't that interesting? Five, four, three. And we have the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom. Hmm. So it's like... You're feeling a loss, a despair of um, missing something here. Maybe being left out in the cold. Then you're feeling a connection of maybe I should hang on to this. And then you're going into 
we can work on this. So it feels like you're going backwards. You're going from a loss to gaining to an ace of pentacles. This can work. There is a possibility. There is a possibility that maybe you'll even make an offer. I think they're going to have to come to you, but, um, wow. Okay, let's see. The five of pentacles. Yeah, uh, you know, I was thinking that we didn't have the two. Now we have the ace, the two, the three, the four, the five. <laughs> so working your way through this, working your way through this loss here, this neglect, this um, being left out in the cold, or if you did to them, trying to balance things that you can work together, then figuring out that, okay, you know, I can hold on to this. I can make this work. If there's a possibility that this can work. Okay, what about the four of pentacles? Judgment, yeah, you're you're going through a lot in your head. You're trying to figure out, trying to make a judgment call here. Now about the Three of Pentacles, working together as a team. Ooh, but we have competition. You know, this, there might be other people involved here that are causing some kind of chaos. But you're here, the Seven of Pentacles. There, this could be a work situation. A lot of Pentacles here. There could, this could be something that could turn into a lot of abundance. But it's like you're reevaluating this. As you move along, you figure out something. You're trying to make a judgment call. And then other people might interfere. May they, hey, what, Leo, what are you doing? Why are you, why are you doing that? And you're second-guessing yourself here. You know, what are these people saying? What are they, you know, is this true? Is this not true? You know, that's up to you to decide. You have to make up your mind on that. I think I'll just put these sideways. But we do have the uh, golden opportunity. I think if you handle this right or you make sure that things are done correctly. This person has all aces on the side for you. So let's see. What action might they take for you, to you, towards you? Okay, what action might they take towards you? Six of Swords, they might be moving towards you here with the Lover's card. Wow. And we have the Three of Cups. Yes, they want to come towards you. We have, they want to fix things. They want to balance things out. We have the Two of Pentacles here. They want to make this work. I think I'll do this this way because it gives me more room. Okay. So, the Six of Swords means going away from something, leaving something that is not serving them to something better. They're going to make a move towards you. They see you as their lover, as their counterpart, as a very strong connection here. They want to offer you something or may ask you out. Um, try to make something work here. Why is the Six of Swords here? They've been stressing about this, really thinking about it. Maybe they're thinking about asking you on a vacation or a trip or something too. Um, or maybe they have to relocate and they're going to do that to come towards you. If there's been a distance for you. Because again, Three of Swords could be a distance. It does not have to be someone's cheating. And it's like some people get so upset and they start saying, it doesn't mean that someone cheated. You, you know, you're putting it there. Then that's your fear. You know, it's like, don't put it there. The lovers. Let's see. The lovers. Oh, a fool. New beginning. They want a new beginning with you. Take a leap of faith. Take a chance. They're hoping you will. Three of cups. And you you know, have to do what's right, right for you. And they're going to surprise you. We have, oh, wait, we have the tower, but it's in reverse. I almost feel like they're going to plan to surprise you, but it's going to go backwards. It's, it's, they're not going to actually be able to surprise you because we already have the tower in reverse here. They want to surprise you, may ask you out, but you might be tipped off to her or somehow be aware of it or just feel them coming. Again, we have the lovers twice on this side here. Okay. Both decks are coming out lovers. The person has a very strong attach, attachment to you, a very strong feeling for you. You definitely, it's everything they wanted. I'm telling this energy feels like they're not easy to please and you got it all okay so let's see what's going on with this king of swords eventually money realize okay someone's gonna eventually realize something about money hmm don't like that too much let me see why is some money here let's see Okay, someone might be giving someone a gift of money. Here comes money coming in. Like, this is spiritually guided money somehow. Okay. Let's see, what about this page of wands? Maybe someone has a gift for making money. We have revealed past life want. Okay, someone might be, re re something revealed that someone figures out you got past life together and they want to be together with you. They want to come in. 
What about this King of Wands? Mystery. Desire. Thinking. Okay, so someone's thinking. I think someone's thinking of you as a mystery and they desire you. They want to they wanna figure out the mystery. Okay, what about the Page of Wands? Married. Sharing. Reunite. Okay, so if you guys were married and you broke up, they're, they're going to come to you and tell you they'd like to reunite. They'd like to bring this back together. Or someone's sharing they want to reunite with you if you haven't been married. And that's their intention, to be married. Okay, now let's see. What about this Knight of Cups? Closure. Money. Forget. Player. Okay, so maybe you're going to forget a player that you had to deal with, had something to do with money, and you're going to bring you closure. Okay, let's see here. Okay. Okay, we have the jewelry store here. Someone might be trying to give you some jewelry. And maybe, you know, you're going to say, no, I'm not interested. Or maybe you are. I don't know. It's going to be different for everyone. What about this Knight of Wands? Feelings. Keeps the money. And the money keeps on coming. Return. Oh, so either someone has feelings that they're going to keep the money or they're going to return the money. Or they're returning to, to tell you to keep the money. Ah, that's what it feels like. They might be returning to tell you to keep money. Okay, we have here. Yeah, someone's giving someone money. See that one? Someone's handing someone money. They want to tell me to keep it. Okay, what about this king? Oh, I'm going to move this up here. So I'm gonna move. This king of wands. Oh, I got to pull out my other cards. Let's see. Important lying. Okay, someone's found out that someone is lying about something important. Okay, what about this page of cups we have a surprise confess change so someone's going to surprise you and confess something that's going to change things okay let me just move this over here because i did not do these yeah let's see your combined energies that's why i put them on my sign so i don't forget them and in the end eventually i'll get to them let's see what are your combined energies what you both feel sharing here we have crossroads. You both feel like you're at the crossroads. You're trying to make a decision. There's confusion here. And we have, but there's romance. And there's ex-partner. So this is coming back together. Or there could be someone else involved in trying to keep you guys apart. Maybe that's the crossroads confusion. I do feel like there's other energies that don't want you guys to get back together. So, um, but you know, if it's meant to be, it will. Let's see what, um, signs you could be dealing with. What is signs for Leo? Let's see. Taurus, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Taurus, Cancer, and Leo. There you go. So these could be placement, your chart, placement, other people's charts, past, present, and future. We have Taurus, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Taurus, Cancer, and Leo. Now let's do the letters for initials. We'll do 11 letters for initial. First name, last name. If you get both the first and last name and someone has a middle name and you know that middle name, you get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, future, also your own initials. We have Y, X, E, B, A, P. This is L, I, F D one more and N. Okay, so the letters we have for you today are Y X E V A P L I F D N. Okay, now let's get eleven or more names. Let's see what names want to come up. What are the names? Okay.
Okay, so we have here James Yoli Bobby B O B B I Marcy K R E K Y R E E M Adrian A Adrian A D R I E N N E Matt Shell M A C H E L L E Scott Kathy Let's see Then we have Shelly, Tammy, Laura, L-O-R-A, Ronnie, Anishia, A-N-I-S-H-I-A, Ginny, J-E-A-N-N-E, -N -N -E, and Karim, Karim, K-A-R-I-M. I know I probably didn't pronounce that right. I'm sorry. So we have nine... 17? Wow. I'm oh, sorry, 9 and 16. All right, so 16 names. Okay, guys, now remember these are general readings, they're not personal readings. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. I love to read your comments. Um, if it does not resonate, check out your other placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all you like, share, subscribe, and comments, and I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.